Let's talk about the if command. Um, there is more detail about the if command elsewhere, but I want to just show you the main use that we'll make of it. And the main use that we'll make of it in this class is to deal with optional elements. If an element is there, if it's optional, then it may or may not be in the instance. And we might want to take different actions if it is in the instance or if it isn't in the instance. For example, um, some, of the, some of my, well, let's look at our, our schema here. Um, here's our movies. Here's a movie. And a movie can have no cast or it can have multiple casts. So this is optional, right? It doesn't have to have any cast elements. If it has a cast element for a particular movie, we want to do one thing. If it doesn't have a cast element, we want to do something else. And that's what we're going to use the if for. So we're using the if to deal with optional elements. So here's the if command, XSL if. That says, what do I want to do? I want to test a condition. And the attribute has an X path in it. There's a difference between the way this X path works and the way the X path works on the value of. In the value of, the X path is a select, which means that it returns the node. It returns a value from the, from the instance. In the case of a test, we take the same X path and what it will return is true or false. If the X path is there, if there are some nodes that meet this X path, the thing will be true. If there are no, no, no nodes that meet this X path, then the test will be false. If the test is false, the code doesn't run. So this code will not run if the prototype, infotype, movies, movie, this particular movie has no cast element, then this won't run. Okay, so in, I've chosen this specifically because this movie, M-E-X-P-R, M-E-X-P-R has no cast. Meanwhile, the next one down, M. Ivans does have a cast. See all the cast there? So one movie has a cast, the other movie does not have a cast. Back over here. So this says, if the movie, and this is the one without a cast, if it has a cast, do this code. The movie, and then it'll put in the name of the movie, the movie, this movie's title, does not have a cast. Then we, try, we test the next one with this block of code. It's the next movie down. Notice this is M. Ivans and this is M. E. X. P. R. These two different X paths differentiate those two different movies. Now we test to see if that one has a cast. Indeed, it does have a cast element. Test returns true. The code inside the if executes. So we, we should see on our output an H1 tag, the movie, and the name of the movie. And the word does in italics have a cast. So back over here on our, um, on our output, XSL if. The movie Ivan's Childhood does have a cast. Notice that other statement that was in the XSL does not run. Let's go back over there. This one right here because this was false. So none of this stuff comes out, but this stuff does come out. That's the way if works.